alive and kicking. Vinyl, whose demise was predicted with the advent of CDs two decades ago, is far from gone. Though they remain a niche market dwarfed by CD sales, vinyl records are still being produced in large numbers. Bob Bailey is a consultant at one of the UK's last surviving record manufacturers. 20 years ago, I was told, go and find another job because vinyl is going to die now, CDs are here. I'm still employed manufacturing vinyl. We have a tentative plan to be at least 15 years manufacturing. Uh, and that, that it's likely, in my opinion, to go on years and years after that. Thanks to a wave of indie rock bands like the UK's Arctic Monkeys or the Killers from the United States, a new generation of fans are helping to drive the revival. It kind of made sort of vinyl cool again. I think the record labels felt that it would be a good idea to maybe release some of their singles in vinyl form, make them collectible. It was really a form of promotion, but the fans picked up on that. The bands loved it because it's a bit of a badge of honour to release on vinyl. It's part of the whole uh, kind of mythology around rock and roll, really. Stars like Elton John or David Bowie still produce on vinyl. LPs now account for 0.8% of albums sold in the UK. Six years ago, that figure was just 0.1%. In the last two years, we've seen the sales on vinyl double. Um, that's probably down to the nice nostalgic um, vintage feel of it. Uh, things like the old school hip hop and soul, people are really interested in getting that warm sound again. So yeah, it's really good. 2013 is the UK's best year for vinyl in decades. Sales have already doubled this year to half a million and could exceed 700,000 by Christmas.